Well, relationships, people tend to focus on the love aspect. You know, the Bible never tells us to be in love. It just say love. It don't say be in love with your wife. It just say love your wife. <laughs> because all my people who've been in any relationship longer than two months, you ain't gonna always feel in love. I ain't got no witness in the place. Can I get a witness? I say you ain't gonna always feel in love. You gonna get up some days and wonder why you married to that person. Y'all ain't gonna be honest in church. If it's all based on just love or feeling, then it's not sustainable, right? So when you say, okay, well, we're together for purpose. Now, even when me and Ashley are not clicking, we come together because the purpose is greater than what we feel. The purpose is greater than the argument we just had. I don't understand what dudes don't like hanging with their wife. Like, we together all the time. If you see Ashley, you see me. Even today, football is on. She don't like football that much, but she gonna be in the same room with me. She gonna have criminal minds on, but I'm gonna have football on. Like, just say you single. Or you try to look for friendships like that benefit you. If you know what your purpose is, now you know what to say yes to and what to say no to. Because if I connect with you and I say, I want to go here. And you're saying, I want to go there. Now we know we're not meant for each other. That don't mean that we're bad people. We just know that our purposes don't what? Align. She has a very unique perspective on mental health and how the church approach mental health. So actually, let's talk about a little bit about getting your mental health right before you get connected to different people. Um, no one really knows this, but I come from a long line of mental health. So by the age of 12, I was really depressed and I actually tried to kill myself. Um, and just from there, it like progressed. I was in different therapies. I tried different things to cope with it, things I'm not proud of. But I always had the mindset of you yourself have to be good before you get into a relationship. That was very big on me. So before he and I even got together, I was in therapy for a couple of years. I got on antidepressants, I got off. But whenever we got together, I was still on antidepressants and being with him, um, he pulled me closer to God. And that's the best thing that ever could happen in my life. But, so being with him, he, he completely turned my life around. And within a couple of months being together, I stopped taking my antidepressants. Um, but my big thing with the church and mental health is a lot of people in church will tell you, well, that's from the devil. Well, that's satanic. Well, that's not true. Well, you're making this up. And it's so true. Like mental illness is literally a chemical imbalance in the brain. That's exactly what it is. It's not something you're making up. It's not something you're hallucinating about. It's a, a scientific thing. And so it always used to frustrate me. Someone tell me, oh, well, did you pray about it? Of course I prayed about it. But it's like, I'm still going through this. It's a real thing. So I personally believe that in church, it's completely acceptable to have hard days. It's completely acceptable to be anxious, to be depressed, to go through these different things, but it still needs to be accepted. And a lot of churches don't accept it. So us as Christians, like during that time, I didn't need to hear, well, did you pray about it? I needed to hear, I'm here for you, God loves you. 